Hello Libra, welcome to your love reading for December 2017. If you want to book a private reading, my website is in the description below. If you have any questions, by all means, um, you know, social media, all of that, email, everything is in the description below. Okay. Um, I will put it in the comments as well. Okay, just in case anybody has a hard time finding it. So, let's... Let me do three shuffles and we're ready. Okay. I was pre-shuffling and I kept seeing paying attention to the red flags. Okay, so let's see if that card comes out again. But if there's something you're suspicious about, um, some of you guys might have to do some undercover work here. Okay, deception for your first card. Forgiving and learning. So, as to what I'm seeing already in the past, that cheating must have been a real I have a love a love court, a rose court here. Make the effort. So in the past, there might have been some cheating, some lying. For those who have been in a relationship for a very long time. Because I'm just what I'm seeing is very long time. And there's there's just that like I don't I'm, I'm tired of it, you know? Oh this is a card that I've been seeing as well. Let go of control issues. Every time I would shuffle, that one would pop out. So, I'm pretty sure you're tired, Libra, of this person doing you the same over and over. Or people in general, if you're dating and it's the same cycle over and over again. Okay? So whether it's happening to you right now or it was happening to you and you're just, that energy is still there. Like, is this person going to do me wrong? You know what I mean? So I don't know. It, it's kind of hard to say because I'm getting both energies. So for those who are living that way, like, well, I don't know. Is this person going to do the same to me? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you can't live with that. You have to just go for it and see, you know, how things work out. But also, it's it's the obvious, too. I mean, you can't just be like, yeah, let's get in a relationship. And you know one, you only know 1% about this person. You have to... Find some way, somehow, body language, the way this person talks, the way, you know, what does this person bring up? Their family, are they family people? Are they, are they, are they secret about themselves? Like, you got to find clues like that to kind of get the feeling of what that person is like, if that makes sense. I don't know. Okay, so deception. And again, I mean, either someone is 
lying to you again or the person that you're involved with has some secrets or Libra this this could also be you too I feel like some of you guys are but I it's not that it's on purpose I feel like you you're tired of being played and there's this step back there's this fear so we have deception with the full card in the reverse okay so this is this is a problem i don't know if this is a cycle that keeps happening and happening and happening and one just says ah eh, you know what i'm tired of this and the energy is just all over the damn place so everybody's getting mixed signals and things are out of whack okay get your stuff together and but i also feel of course the other person as well both of you one or the other whoever needs it the most but if it's a cycle and it's you libra that keeps letting this cycle happen then you know obviously it's it's you So you have to decide when enough is enough. Okay? Now. Forgiving and learning. And would you look at that? The eight of wands. No. Yeah. No. Nine. <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm trying to see it through the camera. Yeah, the nine of wands. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, forgiving and learning. And as you could see, this person right here has a band-aid. Okay? So this person, Libra, this could be you. You have hope for this person. You keep forgiving this person. You... I don't know if you want to have like a clear conscience or you're you just rather avoid I don't know or you're just afraid to be alone I don't know what it is Libra I don't know okay this could be a fire sign that you're with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius so as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments. Now let's go back as well for that I mentioned earlier that some of you guys are still living with the past, right? You're afraid. You're wondering if the old patterns are going to continue. Well, forget the past. It's done. It's over with. And... You know, you can't live that way. You can't live um I'm trying to find a good way to say it, but you can't live Now I'm getting distracted. <laughs> um but just don't I know some of you guys are like just spit it out already. It, you just can't live in the past you you really really can't okay if you continue to live in your past the cycle is going to continue okay for those who have been going through this for many 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 years you need to put your foot down okay for yourself and look at that we have the knight of pentacles okay for some of you guys it might take you some time some time to finally say i'm done i'm done okay it's time to take back control of your life with the knight of pentacles Okay, so this knight here is 
the slowest knight from the deck okay and with the free yourself it's I, I feel like you know you know that you need to free yourself right but again this hope this fear it, it, it's not gonna let you so that'll be up to you okay it is it really worth it you know make the effort with the hangman okay great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take with the hangman so the hangman here you know it, it's pretty much saying that you're undecided now with you know you obviously you need to put some say into it okay i don't know who you're dealing with but you need to speak up speak up let your voice be heard let go of control issues Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And I keep wanting to go back to the deception, to the forgiving and learning the past. Okay. There's some type of, like you, you want to have control, but hold on. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to understand the hermit. Let me move on really quick. Okay. I like this. So the end of December. Christmas time. Holidays. Of course. It, it looks to me there's, there's going to be some fun. Fun. Okay. And I, and I feel like that's where... It, everything obviously feels good, right? But who knows after the holidays? Who knows if it's going to continue the same pattern or things might get better from there, okay? But, you know, listen. Listen to your intuition. Listen to that gut feeling, okay? If somebody is doing you wrong or you feel like they're lying to you or some way, find out. And if your gut feeling keeps telling you he or she is, he or she is, you know, then, again, f facts, right? <laughs> and s speak, speak your heart, speak your mind. Okay, then we have playfulness and the tower card in the reverse. So there might have, have been some destruction in the past. Okay. And who knows when it's going to stop, right? Who knows? It's it's life. But the only thing we can do is become a better person. Okay? In and out. So, until then, and as you guys saw, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Just be real to yourself. Be real to your partner. And... Once you both start doing that, I guarantee your relationship will rise. Okay? Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you want to book a reading with me, all of that information is in the description below or in the comments. I hope to talk to you guys very soon. Until then, take care.